Hi YouTubers. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I made a homebrew video, so I thought I'd make one today for a Thirsty Thursday. Um, I've had a few people ask me about uh, how my uh, brown ale turned out. Anyways, I just poured that out of a keg. Uh, malty and delicious and I'm telling you it is very good um, I know you guys can't do that in the maritime uh, not unless you you live in the maritimes uh, to brew one of these but uh, I have what you can put into it you know what type of malts and stuff like that if you want to brew it but it's just a nice brown ale What we're going to do today, one second please. Canadians always saying please. Um, I'm going to make a, a commercial light beer. Um, I'm going to put a kilogram or 2.2 pounds of two row in it. Uh, 200 grams of uh, dextrin malt. Mm -mm -mm. Excuse me. What is that? Good and carbonated. 100 grams of crystal 60. 1.3 light malt extract. Now, I hear a lot of people about uh, they're talking about you know the twang and stuff like that, but. Uh, in, in, in the malt. Um, you know, I'm a big advocate for, for Coopers too. I love my IPAs. I've never had a twangy one there. Uh, you just got to pay attention to the date. And this uh, light malt here that I get, that you can get in Canada, is, is, is as fresh. You can order it the same day. So it's very fresh. Uh, 1.3 uh, high malt glucose. That's basically just sugar. Put that in there. And uh, today we're going to use for... Uh, uh, one second. For hops. Mm. I've never really tried these hops. I've uh, used a lot of different hops, and I uh, I try to try different ones, but Amarillo. So I'm going to make a, a commercial beer, basically, with Amarillo hops. I think this would be great. Uh, I've made this last year, April the 30th, in 2014. I, I made this beer, and it was wicked. I only put uh, 328 grams of two-row. And the reason I do that is not for the alcohol, it's uh, just f so you can get that grainy taste there. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put that in and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, I want to thank all my subscribers that, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel lately. And uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, 17. So, okay, the water is up to uh, 150, and we're going to steep that for an hour, so. And I'll put the one kilogram of uh, two row in there, and I'll get back to you within uh, an hour. I steep it for an hour, so get back to you then. Okay, now I took out the grains. Did you see? Great big bag of grains. I didn't bother putting water over it or nothing. So there we are there. And I'm going to add light malt extract, very fresh, 
and I'm going to add high malt extract. It's high malt liquid glucose, actually. So, get back to you in a minute. Okay, we'll check my pumpkin ale. Wonder if you can hear any pop. Right. <laughs> Huge hit on that. Uh, three finger. Hey, what I did, of course, is up to a boil. I um, put some yeast, yeast nutrient in there, and uh, I'm going to throw an ounce of amarillo in it. The last 10 minutes. Always throw in an iris moss. Always do. Because it makes a big difference. I really find that it does. Okay. And a flame out. We'll throw another uh, ounce of amarillo in it. Look at that nice beer, folks. That's my pumpkin ale. Oh, man, that's good. The only thing is that I, I say, you know, I've been making a lot of heavy beers lately. Adding a lot of stuff to it. Adding a lot of uh, bittering hops. And, <clears throat> and the reason I'm making this commercial type of beer is... Uh, it's nice to have a nice light beer. I mean, like, you know, it's February. You know, take another three, four months, and uh, that'll be just perfect. Okie dokie. Doing a nice job. And let's take a look out at the snow, folks. Know everyone out there look at that snow isn't that crazy oh, hardly see people there Yep. Anyways, happy uh, Thirsty Thursday, people. And, uh, oh my God, that smells good. That Amarillo smells good. Like I say, that's the uh, first time I used that Amarillo. And I got another, I got another ounce left. What the hell's going on with that? Okay, well, uh, have one more drink and we'll talk to you later. Oh. Cheers. Okay, so all I got to do now is uh, pitch that yeast after that's done. I like to hydrate my yeast. Just leave that in there for now. And you gotta try this. Uh, if any is like pumpkin ale. Oh god! Go to my my site and you gotta try that. It's just delicious. So let's just check and see if um, we found a spot to chill us down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's a spot in a 
<laughs> in about uh, five feet of snow. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, there's my deck. Isn't that wicked? Look at that. Anyways, happy Thursday, Thursday, everyone. And uh, thanks for watching. It's been a while, so uh, I'm glad I made this and uh, needed some summer beer, anyways. So, cheers and uh, 17.